I don't have a favorite. I like them both. <laughs> hey, you. Let's talk about Fall 2023 from Shanta Kai, the Wild Mustangs collection. Now, this collection contains eye shades and lip veils. Four eye shades, two new mattes and luminescent eye shades, and lip two lip veils. I picked up one of the two and I picked up all of the eye shades. So what we're going to do today is I will do lid swatches of all of the shades because while his swatches are good, swatches are great. Swatches never really truly tell the full story. I want to, along with you, see how these apply, how they look, create a couple of looks, mixing and matching them and such. And I am going to compare to my collection of luminescent eye shades. Over time I've collected these and they are absolutely beautiful. I love them. But I'm excited to share this collection with you. I love horses. It's bringing me back to my childhood in so many ways. <laughs> so we'll get into details and all of the things. So, shall we? The Wild Mustangs collection for fall of 2023 reconnects us with the American Wild Horse campaign to support their efforts to protect the wild mustangs of the American West. New matte eye shades. Creamy, flattering hues that offer rich definition with a velvety matte finish. In two shades. Luminescent eye shades. The best-selling shimmer formula in two limited edition hues inspired by the rich tones of the American Wild Mustangs. And we can't forget the lip veil. <laughs> the iconic creamy formula delivers luminous full coverage infused with Fair Wild certified organic baoba oil from Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. So I just I just grabbed my Shantakai lip drawer and I will also compare the new lips veil that I picked up to what we may have in our collection that's similar. So as always with Shanta Kai, their collections give back. So this collection in particular is going to raise funds to support the Utah Conservation Program for the protection of the recently discovered isolated herd of wild horses in Utah Cedar Mountains. More details are always available direct on the Shanta Kai website. And I'll have everything we talk about today listed and linked for you down below in the description box. I highly suggest that you guys sign up for Shantakai's Loyalty Rewards Program. It's free. Just, you know, you shopping there already, just log in with your account and sign up for the Loyalty Program. You get points, you get access to um, early launches and such. And that's how I was able to pick up this collection. So again, I picked up all four of the luminescent eye shades and one of the two lip veils. So all of those fun little details are out of the way. I'm gonna bring you nice and close. And let's get into the eye shades. I am quite curious about these new matte eye shades, and they are these two here. It's all about the details, okay? And these are professionally captured images, and a lot of detail goes into Shantikai's packaging. So I have to just quickly share that with you. It's a true experience. And here are the shades, more details on the back. So the packaging and the actual eye shade Mac. Open it up, you do have a mirror. Now, if you're curious, like, oh my goodness, it's just such a tiny mirror, is it any good? Oh, it's great. You can really get good use out of it. You can see clearly. Palomino, this is a matte golden beige. You never have to worry about these. They snap shut, it's nice, good quality packaging. It doesn't feel cheapy at all. Really, really nice. So that is our first matte shade. Next up is Bay. Again, packaging matches the actual eye shade. This is a matte chocolate brown. So these are the two matte shades. Here we have Roan. And Roan is described as a shimmering cinnamon. And then we have Pinto. Now, Pinto is described as a silvery mauve. Shimmering formula in two limited edition hues inspired by the rich tones of the American Wild Mustang. Very, very pretty color story. Very pigmented, very smooth. All four of these can create a beautiful look. All of these are great for a one and done. You can mix and match. Do whatever you'd like. 
So let's do that. <laughs> For my lid swatches, I'm going to be using this brush from Chantecaille. It is the Shade and Sweet brush. So let's start off with Palomino. I'm just going to pick up product on the brush. I'm going to pat to build the collar. And here we have the shade Palomino. We'll get super close so that you can see it on the lid. I don't have any primer or anything like that on my lid. All I did was I took my powder brush and just kind of went over my lid. So there's no primer or anything. Now into the shade Bay, same brush. I just kind of swirled it around on my microfiber towel. Picked up. I think a color like this is perfect to have in your collection for one and dones, for using to deepen a look, or whatever you'd like. So I just patted and applied and then blended in the crease, whatever was left on the brush. So that's just one application. I want to try to build that shade up a bit, so shall we? I'm gonna go in with a bit more on the brush. I'm just packing that all over the lid. There we go. Just continuing to pat and build a bit. And there it is applied. And that is it built up. So these are the two new matte shades applied to the lid. They blend very nicely, they're very pigmented and very easy to work with. Really nice formulas. So in the pan and then swatched on the eyes and then swatches. So quite consistent through and through. Very, very nice colors, very practical, very pretty. And I really, really like the formula. Shall we try the luminescent eye shades on the lid? I think so. I wanna try Pinto first. <laughs> I'm going to pick that up on my brush. I'm going to pat to apply and then blend the edges. This is so pretty and it has just the right amount of sparkle. It's not overwhelming, it's not too much. It's very daytime appropriate. <laughs> All right, so before I go in for any more, that is what one layer looks like. Let's build it up a bit. So here is the shade Pinto. Yeah, that makes a beautiful one and done, I have to say. Now for the shade Rowan. Picking that up. I love the sparkle in these luminescent eyeshades. I think they are just enough. 
and they really look beautiful no matter the time of day when the sun hits them they look beautifully reflective but not junky and over the top they're still quite sophisticated for something with a little sparkle so here is Rowan get really close so that you can see it and if you are curious about these shades because they do sparkle if there is fallout you get maybe two little specks here and there you can see for yourself I have like one right there and like one there one there but not too bad all things considered all right let's go in with a little bit more of Rowan build it up Yes, quite lovely. I think it's helpful to see these two shades in particular side by side because on the site I was looking at them and I said, hmm, maybe I should just get one. <laughs> but I really do like the luminescent eye shades a lot and they are products that I use often so I wanted to get both, you know. But if you were curious what they look like side by side, here we are. So we have Rowan on this side and Pinto. I don't have a favorite. I like them both. <laughs> Pinto is described as a silvery mauve and Rowan is described as a shimmering cinnamon. They're both unique in their own ways. <laughs> okay, those are eye swatches. Let's play around with the other shades. Let's mix and match a little bit and create Let's do a couple of looks for fun, and then we'll get into the lip swatch for the lip veil and comparisons. All right, I'm only gonna use the matte shades to create two looks for you rather quickly. And that's the beautiful thing about these is that they create looks really quickly and easily. Starting off with Palomino. I'm going to apply that on the inner portion of my lid. Brighten up just a bit. I'm also going to apply it for brow bone highlight, picking up bay. That's a fun look. You finish it up with some mascara and you're out. You're done. Just building up Bay on the outer portion of my eye and then blending the whatever's left in the crease. And then going in with Palamino. all over the lid. I just turn my brush around and blend. So that we're smooth and diffused. This one is gonna brighten the eyes a little bit. This one's a little bit more. So two looks with the matte shades. Yes. One more look. Just one more. Okay, just one more. <laughs> I'm going in with this precision blend brush from Shantikai. Rowan.
pinto. All right, so I went in with my eye cajol. I'm gonna go in with that precision blender and bay and just smudge. I'm going back in with Ron. Building up a little bit. Yes, please. Let's do a couple of coats of the Full Sills Longest Lash Mascara. I'll quickly refresh my blush. I'm using Coral. I use my blushes, they're not super pretty, but <laughs> Chantakai blushes always come with the beautiful overspray. Going with a little bit of this. I do have a dedicated video to all of the Chantikai blushes. If you want to see that, I'll link it. And again, it's available in my Chantikai playlist. This shade is described as a deep rose. And again, details of the packaging. It is magnetic. And here it is, okay. Swatch, shall we? Okay, that was one swipe. I'm going to build it up over here. These are so creamy. So this is just one swipe, and then this is it kind of built up a bit. Here are all the products applied. Lip Fail is very comfortable, very creamy, good stuff. The eyeshadows, they're gorgeous, love. Let's do some comparisons. Um, I'm gonna quickly just kind of skim through my Lip Veil collection and see what I got. All right, so I pulled three lipsticks. I pulled a Lip Chic in Saudi Rose. This is probably gonna be more of a nude, but I wanted to see Nonetheless, more of a nude pinky versus more of a pinky. I have honeysuckle here. I want to try see what that one looks like. Okay. And honeysuckle is actually a lip chic. Honeysuckle is a bit deeper. And then I've got one more, Bussy Flora. Isn't it amazing how you can have so many shades of pink and they all be very different? So Sari Rose, Honeysuckle, and Bussy Flora. In comparison. If anything, I feel like of the three, Bussy Flora is probably the closest, like just a little. <laughs> I'm gonna first compare the shade Bay. I don't have any other matte <laughs> to compare. They're both luminescent eye shades, so they're gonna have some luminosity, some glimmer, some glitters to them. But I just wanted to compare the colors because if you have them in your collection and you're curious, let's see. So we're gonna just do a quick finger swatch of Bay. It's from this collection. Oh, remember that collection, you guys? <laughs> Limited edition, you know, leopard, oh, so gorgeous. This is definitely more of a bronze, but it's along the lines of that dark brown shade. I just wanted to see, okay? All right, I do feel like the leopard shade is the luminescent cousin <laughs> to Bay. And then we have giraffe, let's, let's see. This is described as a burnished brown.
that's why these comparisons are fun. It's just we get to see. <laughs> I want to compare Pinto. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna do it this way. Pinto, and beside it, I'll put Rowan. Okay, so Pinto and Rowan. Let's check out Pangolin. This is described as a dusty lilac. Look how gorgeous. <gasps> and I will say, I feel like the more you get down into your luminescent eye shade, it gets like better. <laughs> Pangolin is definitely darker. Zebra. I want to see what zebra pulls like beside these two. This is described as a rose gold. Bangalin and Zebra. What do we think? I will tell you that Bangalin has different shifts with its shimmering little particles. And it's definitely more of that lilac. Yeah. What do we think? I don't think they're comparable. Mm -mm. They're all unique in their own special way. So, what do we think about this new collection from Shantikai? I like it. I like that they have two matte eye shades and two luminescent eye shades. Perfect to combine, wear together. Perfect if you just want to get one and just do a nice, easy one and done. They're very flattering, wearable colors with nice, high quality, pigmented, smooth, you know, all the things we're looking for. Very nice formula on the lipstick as well, and we love the packaging. And again, and again, all of this beauty gives back, so we always love that. But again, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Thank you, as always, for spending your time with me today. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.